Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to another video. Today I am gonna do something a little bit different from what I usually do on my channel. You guys have obviously already seen the title, but I decided to order myself a subscription of scroller boxes. And basically what a scroller box is, it's subscription art supplies. So once a month you get this package and it's full of mystery art supplies along with some inspiration from a featured artist. And then you have a challenge prompt. So you need to create something using only what's provided in the box to create something that relates to the prompt of the month. And the featured artist and creator of this beautiful masterpiece is Carla Kochua. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. I see a scroller box sticker. I don't want to rip it. Oh my god, I'm gonna rip it. Oh, oh, I ripped it. Okay, so this is a list of supplies. We're gonna look at this in a second. We have a scroller box sticker. Oh, candy. Is this a water brush? It is a water brush. We have a Stadler 4B aquarelle pencil. And the most exciting part of this box, I'm, I'm just gonna try to get, get into this. Uh, I'm gonna use my palette knife. When in doubt, use your palette knife. Okay, well, I, I just made a mess. Um, here we go. I wanna open these. Look at all the pretty colors. And for the water brush, it has like this really funny shape and I'm really excited to see how this is going to be to work with. I mean, I have other water, water brushes. I mean, yeah, this one's ruined, but they're all so much like taller than this one. So I don't know. I mean, I'm intrigued. Ooh, it's like crusty. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Let's see what's actually in here, shall we? So we have one 12 pack of Faber Castell Gold Faber Aqua Pencils. We have a Faber Castell water brush, a Statler Mars Lumograph pencil. So it says here it's really good break resistant and it's easy to erase. And it also has the little brush on it, which means that you can use it with water and that's why I'm excited. That's actually really cool. Then you have a Statler Mars plastic eraser and a Statler metal single hole sharpener. And the scroller challenge for this month is quiet morning. So the challenge is pretty much just put all of these supplies together and create something that's representative of a quiet morning. Before we go ahead and start with the challenge, I figured we'd just swatch out the products that we got and see how they all perform. Oh shit, that's a lot of water. Um, don't press too firmly on this because it will squirt out and make a pool on top of your paper. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch all of my watercolor pencils and then mix them with water and see what happens. So the white pencil, I'm not quite sure what to do with. I mean, obviously it's not gonna show up on white paper. Maybe we can do some highlights or something? Um, or, or not. This white pencil is gonna be awesome on a darker paper. Um, but I'm not quite sure how to implement it on my white paper. Also, I am not an artist. Do not look at me like I know what the frick I'm doing. Cause I don't. However, can you see how pretty this is and how vibrant the colors become once you add the water to them? This, this kind of blows my mind a little bit. Look at that. I am officially impressed. Okay, so I just read up on what like everything actually is and does. So this is what it says about the water brush. The integrated grooves and the wedged design on the cap can be used for scratch and scraping techniques. Like, what? The, that's, um, that's beyond my knowledge. If anyone knows what the frick a scratch and scrape technique is, um, please, please inform me, because I ain't doing it right. Help me. 
So for my challenge, I decided to sketch out a bullfinch in the graphite pen and then I wanted to do a kind of wintry landscape. Um, for me, a quiet morning, the best part of a quiet morning is that you're able to hear the birds chirping. And I would love to do kind of like a spring related bird quiet morning illustration. However, as much as I would want it to be spring, uh, Mother Nature decided to just go against me and we've had kind of a blizzard here um, and I had to pretty much dig my car out from my parking lot so I decided to go with a winter one land landscape and the bullfinch because for me that's like a small bird that's very related to winter time for some reason. I mean it lives in Sweden all year round but you mainly see it in the winter time. So I start off really carefully just sketching out all of my colors very lightly and adding water to them as I go and as soon as it's dry I can go over it and enhance if I want the intensity to go up a little bit like I'm doing on the bird multiple times uh, both with the red and the black. I gotta be honest I never worked with watercolor pencils before and I did struggle a bit um, just getting the proportions right between the water pencil ratio and uh, the intensity of the color and so on. Uh, but I'm actually really happy with how this turned out in the end. Uh, it could definitely be a lot better, but it could also be a lot worse. So I decided to get a scroller box because one of my goals this year was to take my art more seriously. And I figured that if I ordered a scroller box, that's gonna provide me with different mediums that maybe I normally wouldn't be using so it's kind of pushing me outside of my comfort zone and making me explore more of the artistic world. For the landscape or the scenery I just started drawing out these random evergreen tree shapes and it's pretty much just a wonky triangle if, to be honest. So I'm just layering all of my colors, adding in more and more details with each layer. And it is actually really cool to see this just come together in a way that I can present and actually feel proud of. I also started layering some shadows on the snow on the ground and I started with one shadow that I was really happy with the way it turned out and then I had a look at my bird and I realized that the light would be coming from the other way so I tried just covering that up and I think in the end it still looks it still looks all right I'm also adding in some shading in the snow just to add in the illusion of some hills and valleys. To finish it all off I go in with the graphite pen and just add some definition to the bird and also add in some shading on the branches as well as the evergreens just to bring up the contrast a little bit because I felt like all of the trees, especially in the background, were kind of smooshing together a little bit, so I just wanted to amp up the contrast just a tiny bit. Once I add in some finishing touches on the snow on top of the branches, we are good to go. And here is my final piece for the scroller challenge of February under the prompt Quiet Morning. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want more. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching and happy painting!